Uh, I'm Pat, Pat Clark. I was uh, born at the bridge, actually delivered, the only one of ten children delivered at the bridge house, where we now are, in 1954. Uh, I'm the son of the late John Clark and Sissy Clark. Uh, and John Clark's father was Phil Clark of the Bridge. His grandfather was Andrew Clark of the Bridge, that would be my great grandfather. The generation back from that was Terence Clark, who was born and uh, reared a family just down the, down the lane from here in Granite Cunha, Granite Cunha Lane, just at the end of the garden here. Okay, so th this all started. Uh, back about uh, 18 months ago when a relative uh, uh, called here one day to the bridge house, a lady called Pat Power and her husband knocked on the door. We discovered that, that her uh, great-grandfather was Terence Clark that was born here at the bridge, emigrated to the States, never returned again, got married and had 11 children. And they lived in Connecticut, the family all lived around Connecticut. None of the family ever returned and she was the first. And when I was talking to her, I, I said, well, it would be great if we could get all the clerks around the world to come back to the bridge for a party. So we have decided to have this uh, get together in, in August 20th to 23rd in 2020. And we're asking all of you living in the States, living wherever you are in the world, to come back to the bridge and Grand Cunha for one big party. Uh, basically, it's, it's going to run for four days. We would love that people would come from the States, spend maybe two weeks a week, two weeks in Ireland, and spend three or four of those days in Killing Care at the bridge in Grand Cunha. Uh, we'll start on the Thursday where people meet up for the registration and welcome on the Thursday. Uh, the Cavan Council are actually running a, a homecoming uh, festival at that time. So uh, we're having what's known as an American Wake on Thursday night. That's been run by, organised by the Cavan County Council, so we're going to tie that in with our uh, reunion. On the Friday then we, we meet up at the bridge again and we uh, get to know each other. We, we go to the graveyards, we go to the churches, we go to the uh, old ans ancestral homes. Uh, This is, this is our starting point, uh, Terence Clark and his wife Eleanor Smith from the Bridge House that we've been talking about. Many of his descendants are, are coming here for the reunion in, in August and on the weekend we would uh, take you all down here for a visit back to the, the old home city of Terence and Lady Terence and, and Eleanor. Terence Clark lived here with his wife back in the in the late 1700s, early 1800s, with his wife Eleanor Smith from just up the lane at the bridge house uh, that is now Clarence. Terence and Eleanor had six of a family, three sons and three daughters. Uh, the three sons uh, were uh, John, Andrew and James. Uh, John and Andrew both both emigrated to the States. John remained, uh, remained in the States and was became known as the famous Big John Clark. He became a famous builder uh, in, in New York City. I think he met his wife before he emigrated. She was Anne Simons. They married out there and they had six or eight of a family. Uh, and many of the people who come in for the reunion are descendants from, from that line. His other brother, Andrew Clark, my great great grandfather, he also emigrated to the States, worked there for some time, came back and either inherited the bridge house from his grandmother, the Smiths, or he, or he purchased it, and then it became Clark's then in, from the late 1800s. On the Saturday then we have what's called Clark Reunion Day at the bridge, uh, a garden party where we have food, drinks, music, uh, storytelling all day long from early morning to, to late at night. Uh, on the Sunday then we, we go to the local church for, uh, to remember all our people who have died and uh, later on the day we go to, to an event organised by the council again for the, for the homecoming festival.
everybody here in Ireland has so many relatives living in the States, so many of their uh, ancestors emigrated uh, back in the, the 1800s, 1900s. My own family alone. Uh, I'm one of ten. Uh, two died as, as children, as, as small babies, and eight lived. And three of the eight emigrated to the states and are still living out there. Two in Miami and one. Mary in New York, John and Jared in New York. Uh, so that's where we are. Uh, we have a great affiliation with, with America and with, with people in the States. So that's what we're doing this August 2023. We're having a reunion of all the clerks anywhere connected with the bridge house of Grand and Crinia Lane. Uh, and we're looking forward to as many people as possible from around the world to come and enjoy their time in Killing Care and the Sea of Ireland as well. Outside of that, people wouldn't understand it, but we have to. On that's probably some of the Americans arriving, <laughs> arriving early. <laughs> This is great, the people are great, couldn't be friendlier, fantastic. If you want to come to a, a glorious town surrounded by magnificent countryside and the friendliest people in Ireland, then come to Cavan. Cavan is brilliant, I love Cavan. I've never been here before the flower, but it's a wonderful place. Especially during the day when there's not so many people, you get to see how nice the buildings are. And the pubs, yes. and like everywhere is so pretty, and everyone's really friendly.